The Kennedy family has occupied a revered place in American politics over the last century, but several members of the Kennedy family have died at relatively young ages, often in tragic circumstances. Here's the truth behind the Kennedy curse. President John F. Kennedy is the most high-profile early death in the Kennedy family, but his life might have gone completely differently if it weren't for the fate of his older brother, Joseph P. Kennedy Jr. Joe was the eldest child and the namesake of his father, and it was originally he who was the focal point of Joe Sr.'s political aspirations, long before anyone had ever dreamed of a Kennedy curse. Joe Jr.'s grandfather, Joseph Fitzgerald, even told the press that the child was, quote, the future president of the nation. Joe Jr. certainly seemed to be heading that way. He was a star athlete and a gifted student with a keen interest in politics, and even reportedly considered a run for Congress. However, his career took a dramatic turn in 1941 when he chose not to wrap up his law studies at Harvard, instead enlisting to become a naval aviator. Soon, he was flying patrol planes in the Caribbean, and he later piloted bombers for the British Naval Command, completing 25 missions with characteristic gusto and deciding to go for even more. In 1944, he joined Mission Aphrodite, a top-secret program where his payload was an early radio-controlled drone plane loaded with explosives. The idea was to release the drone in the air and help its controllers crash it into its target, a rocket launching site. Unfortunately, the project went awry and two mysterious explosions destroyed the drone, killing him and another pilot. John F. Kennedy's sister Kathleen Kick Kennedy was born in 1920 and got a lot done in the 28 years before her untimely death. Apart from maintaining a lavish social presence, she volunteered for the Red Cross, worked for a newspaper in Washington, D.C., and arranged a number of charity events. In 1944, she married a British nobleman named William Cavendish, the Marquess of Hardington, and became Lady Kathleen Hardington. It sounds downright idyllic but Kennedy's mother was reportedly unimpressed with the pairing because Cavendish was a Protestant. Unfortunately, peaceful family life was not in the cards for Kathleen. Her new husband was in the military and called up for service a mere four weeks after the wedding. A few months later, he was dead. Apart from a quick visit to see her stateside family, the widowed Lady Harrington chose to remain in England and even found new scandalous love in Peter Fitzwilliam another Protestant, and an extremely married man. One divorce and assorted threats of disownment later, they were married. In 1948, the newlywed couple boarded a plane to visit Kennedy's father in France, but a storm caused the plane to crash, killing everyone on board. Her father, Joe, was the only member of the Kennedy clan to attend the funeral, and the family did its best to hush up the so-called scandalous events of her life to protect JFK's career. It's hard to see the concept of the Kennedy curse being as famous as it is today without the most high-profile example, the assassination of the 35th President of the United States. John F. Kennedy was fatally shot on November 22, 1963, while riding in an open-air motorcade in Dallas with the First Lady seated next to him. The accused shooter was former U.S. Marine Lee Harvey Oswald, who in turn was shot by a nightclub bigwig called Jack Ruby before he could be taken to court. As if Kennedy's violent death wasn't bad enough already, the cloud of confusing details around the case have turned the killing into a hotbed of unanswered questions and conspiracy theories that run rampant even today. Robert Kennedy is commonly seen as operating in the shadows of his brother's political career. He got a start by acting as JFK's campaign manager during his 1952 Senate run, and assumed the same role for his brother's 1960 presidential campaign. After his victory, JFK appointed Robert as his administration's attorney general. In the years after JFK's untimely death, it seemed that Robert's star was on the rise. On March 16, 1968, he announced his own candidacy for the office of the president, but he never made it to the White House. On June 5th of the same same year, a man called Sirhan Sirhan shot the 42-year-old senator in a hallway of the Ambassador Hotel in Los Angeles, shortly after Kennedy had won California's Democratic primary. Talk of a so-called Kennedy curse didn't jump into existence on its own. The concept actually came from the family itself, partly as a way of rationalizing yet another Kennedy crisis. The curse was conceived by Senator Ted Kennedy in 1969, following a fatal tragedy in which he played a key role, the infamous Chappaquiddick incident. On July 18, 1969, Robert drove a car off a bridge and into the pond below under mysterious circumstances, after which he swam to safety and then returned to his hotel room. He did not report the incident to police until the next morning morning, despite the fact that the young woman who had been riding with him, Mary Jo Kopechny, was still trapped underwater in the car. In a televised statement, Kennedy asserted that he, quote, was not driving under the influence of liquor. He also claimed to police that he had tried his best to rescue Kopechny before returning to his hotel. Kennedy didn't raise the alarm until after police had already discovered the sunken car with Kopechny's body in it, reportedly in a position that implied she died struggling for air. It was later hypothesized that if Kennedy had immediately reported the incident, Kopechny could have possibly survived. Whatever the future holds for me, I hope 
that I shall have be able to put this most recent tragedy behind me. Mary Richardson Kennedy was a successful designer and architect who entered the Kennedy clan when she married Robert F. Kennedy Jr. She had four children, worked on nonprofits and political campaigns, and was known to her friends as a positive and pleasant person. But in 2012, the 52-year-old seemingly peaceful existence imploded in a dramatic fashion with her life becoming a chaotic blur that reportedly included domestic assaults against her husband, as well as a drunk driving charge. Her husband of 16 years asked for a divorce in 2010. Two years later, she was found in her home, having taken her own life. Most of the Kennedys struck by the Kennedy curse have at least had time to make a life for themselves. Not so in the case of the most recent in their long string of family tragedies. On August 1, 2019, Saoirse Kennedy Hill became the latest Kennedy to perish before her time, as she was found dead of a suspected overdose at the Kennedy family's compound in Massachusetts. She was only 22. Kennedy Hill was the granddaughter of the assassinated Robert F. Kennedy, and while her acquaintances at Boston College say she seemed quite happy, they were also aware that she faced challenges. She reportedly suffered from depression, and in 2016, she wrote an essay for her high school newspaper detailing her struggles. She even revealed a previous attempt to take her own life in an effort to encourage others to open up about their struggles with mental health. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK-8255.